Hey, this is Caio. And this is Mike. From EssentialDeveloper.com. Okay. After looking at the architecture we have so far, we decided to come back to the flow and decide what to do next. Looking at it right now, I think we're going to have a problem because we expect the answer to be a string, but this needs to be an array of strings. Right, it can be multiple answers, but also in the future we want to extend it to be other types yes. as well. Because we're going to have images, videos, audio, anything. Mm -hmm. We don't have the need for those models yet. I think it would be too soon to start thinking about them if we are only going to deploy text questions mm -hmm. so far. So maybe we can just make this more generic. So when the types come, we don't have to change anything here. Okay. I'm happy to explore this approach. Okay, so what do we know so far? We know that this should be an array of strings, but to make this more generic, it could be just a type, an answer. Mm -hmm. And the results should be also using the answer type. The question now should also be another associated type. Now it can be question, answer. And the answer can be any type. It can be an array of strings, it can be any module we want. Right. I think the question, though, needs to be hassable. Because of the dictionary. Yes. Yeah, okay. Another solution would be to introduce a new result type. To avoid the hash. Yeah, point. yeah. But we can explore this. Okay. Now we need the same here. We need to have a question and an answer. So we start with an array of questions. This should be question, and this should be answer as well. Mm -hmm. Question. Okay, this is getting more generic. What is wrong now? So a router has associated types, so we need to help the compiler understand what we want here. We can have a router that needs to be our router type. So we can use it here. And again, this needs to be hashable. Yeah. Now the tricky part, we need to tell the compiler that we only accept routers that have the same question answer type, so everything ties together. So we can use a where clause, r.question needs to match the question type, and the router answer should always have the same type as the answer for the flow. Yep. What is wrong now? Maybe we can use r.answer callback here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the compiler doesn't like the type alias here, it's too complex. It's okay if we just use the closure That's what I would do also. like that. Just it's get rid of quite it. simple. Mm -hmm. And we probably have some problems in the test now. Just need to give it more some, meaning. Yeah, some instructions there. Can return the flow of types string string for a question and answer. Mm -hmm. The router also. And the router is pi. And we got rid of the type alias, so let's replace this here. Oh, yeah, that needs to be a string. And this needs to be a string as well. And it runs. Everything's fine. Okay, thoughts? It's more generic for sure. I quite like that. We changed those types and we didn't have to change the tests. We just need to make it compile again in the helpers. And everything still passes, so... We are good here, and we have a more generic flow. Yep. We are good here. We have no reference to strings anymore in the flow, which means we could have other types here. Mm -hmm. So as long as the question is possible. Yes. And if we decide to have a type for a result instead of a dictionary, we're going to have to change this here. Just that, uh, yeah. It might break some tests, but... It might, yes. Okay, let's commit this. Yeah, let's commit and to the next one. Thank you.